All right, guys, I'm going to share some things with y'all. I've got a new color I'm playing with. I'm going to try to show you the difference in it. I made these just half an hour, 45 minutes ago. This is Blue Boy. So you, I'm going to lay it right beside them so you can see the difference. I know you all going like, well, blue is blue. See, it's not. It's totally different, isn't it? Let me lay it sideways. There you go. See the difference? Yeah, they they bright. I made some different color tails. made some grubs. All right? So here's some grubs here. Some lay, lay a blue boy there. So you see the difference. The, the, it's, this is a this is a powder. Okay, I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's called blue green, and I put neon blue in it. Just a couple drops of neon blue. Now I had another one called apple green. Yeah, what do you think of that? Now here's what I'm trying to do with these. Yeah, see that big flake in there? I'm trying to make something a little different here. This is the first shot. I don't know if this is what's going to end up at or not. Okay, these are sunshine orange tail. All right, because you know I have them in the hot tails in the LC Shad, right? Well, I'm making them in the grub too. That's sunshine. And I made the reverse. I made orange with the, with the chartreuse tail. I fished with those in the video. Uh, I don't know if I uploaded that video yet or not. I don't know. I can't keep up with it, guys. Okay, I'll share these with you. This is motor oil chartreuse tail. Now I have it, I, I've got it in LC Shad, right? <laughs> I guess where I'm at. I've got it in LC Shad. All right? And uh, it's working great and it's selling good. So we're going to try it in the grub too. All right? Because it catches fish, guys. The motor oil color just works. Uh, I'm not surprised. You know, we talked about this one other time. I'm not surprised, but uh, some of these companies just don't use motor oil for, for uh, crappy fishing, do they? All right, guys, I thought I'd share that with y'all. I've I, I done that for a reason. I, people ask me about color stuff, and Sam and I was just texting each other. Uh, I sent him some grubs. He said he got them today. I'm going to give him a chance to fish with him some, too. And he, he just said, what other colors you have? I said, well, I've made two or three more colors today. So I sent him pictures of some of them. Uh, and somebody commented about colors on the site today, or this week. The uh, ones I showed you, the, the sunshine color with the orange tail, if you got stained water or some dirty water, they're going to see that, the sunshine color. And I reversed it. I made a video fishing with orange, okay, OJ color, with the chartreuse tail. And it worked good here. Our water, our water is stained. But I made a video coming up. I might, uh, I'm trying to think back what I load. I loaded the unboxing video today, didn't I? I, I may load it Friday. I took some of these colors and our water right now is about 15 inch visibility. And it's raining now, and it rained yesterday. Yeah, we're in this rain period, too. We're supposed to quit raining tonight. Sunshine, but cold, guys. It's been cold here today for us. It was 37 this morning. I think 42 is the best we got. Cloudy and rainy, which is cool. And we're supposed to get down, like, into teens Friday, tomorrow, uh, Thursday, Thursday night and Friday. And But next week, Monday and Tuesday, we'll get back up to 60 again. Yeah, welcome to Virginia. That's how it goes, guys. We roller coaster. We get down in the thirties and then back up in the sixties. We're supposed to be in the sixties Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I'll get out one of these days. I put a bit crappy. I caught Monday. I wasn't planning on fishing Monday. I was in the shop working. I ran to the post office to mail the grub to Sam. He got today. He said, and I said, man, it's beautiful. Sun shining. My truck said it was fifty eight degrees. I come home, hooked the boat, and went fishing. And I made three videos. And I was using hair jigs. Okay, Sam, uh, excuse me a minute. Sid's hair jigs. I thought I'm thinking about it. Uh, I was talking about Sam. I almost took off on him again, didn't I? Uh, and um, I caught a crappy that was just a touch. Uh, I'm going to say he was just a touch over 15 inches. Anyway, I put him on Facebook. If y'all want to see him. Guys, I just run out of time to load the Facebook. Time. I'm sorry. <laughs> My wife said the other day she's going to try to help me keep up with it. So she's going to try to help me load stuff and keep up with it. I, I can't do it all. I'm making baits. I just came in from the bait shop just now. I brought those pans in with me, so I showed them to you on cookie sheets. I showed them to you. I've been out there all day, and I've been out there all day yesterday. And now i got to edit this video tonight. Then i got a bag. I've got three trays ready to bag from the, yesterday of cookie sheets of, of baits. So I have to make this video all bag. Sometimes I bag to 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And then when I get done, I go to bed because <laughs> I get up tomorrow and start all over. 
Uh, so, yeah, it's a rough life. Somebody tell me this, you know, she got a rough life. You spend your time in the bait shop, and then you spend the best time on the water testing those colors and fishing them. I go, yep, somebody's got to do it. So, uh, but I picked the one I fished, guys, because I'm, I'm on the lake. <laughs> uh, I probably didn't catch it crappy, but a mile and a half from my house, maybe two miles from my house, off other was, I, I caught him. But uh, I've been all over the lake. The, the crappy are moving so much, and you'll, you'll hear me talk about that in the video. They are, they are on the move here. They're, you go out one day, you catch them one spot, you go out the next day, they're not there. Or two days later, there's no not a crappy to be found in the area. That's how much they're moving. All right, y'all guys ready? It's enough with that. Just thought I'd share that with you. 82. Gave us a low number for a change. Y'all know uh, the last two weeks, it wasn't like one or two numbers difference, right? Okay, guys, hot tail lime grub. What would y'all think of that color? Wasn't it just great? Hey, right, I made a bunch of those today. See, I made some of each color to play with. Then colors I like and done well, and colors I know that's gonna y'all gonna want, like orange and chartreuse tail, and shark and then the chartreuse and orange tail. They're gonna be great for stained water. Okay, that like this lime made color we works great in clear water too, guys. If y'all remember last summer when I was fishing with Glenn. The water was clear. You can see the bottom in three, three and a half foot. And I was catching them in the line made color. All right, the number's 82. Uh, I don't see a number, Randy. 59. Uh, I'm going to write that down just in case. Larry, 59. Got you down. 2, 2. 82. 49's too low. Don't see a number, David. 56. Under. 59. 24. A little too low. All right. Too low, Mark. I don't see a number. PP drawing 75. All right, number's 82, so that knocks out. Uh, let me write that down. Okay, Knock, knocked him out. Knocked Larry out. 185. Okay, 75. That's pretty close, isn't it? Philip, I don't see a number. All right, all right, Philip, you put some nice fish on Facebook too, didn't you? Y'all check it out once in a while. We don't load a lot. Like I said, I just run out of time, but I think Philip put up some fish on there, some pigs. They were nice ones, real nice ones. That's why I call slabs. Those are monsters. Y'all gonna hear me say it in the video. I'm not making fun of anybody, but I hear people bragging. I watch them on YouTube. Man, that was a monster. That crappy was 10 inches. That crappy was 10 and a half. Sid, tell me if I'm wrong. They gotta be 12 inches before you can even keep them on Grenada. Most lakes are 10 inches. You got it before you can keep them. So, guys, a 10 inch crappy is a nice one. It very is a nice one. Good eating size, but I wouldn't call it a monster. I'd call it a nice fish. Right? 87's over. Yeah. So, and if you don't, yeah, I don't, maybe it depends where you're fishing too, right? Some places a 10 inch fish might be a big one. But even up north, guys, I see y'all guys pulling them 12, 13 inches out through the ice. So, <laughs> right? I watched the other day. He was catching some nice crappy, some hunks of slabs through the ice. So, yeah, 10 inches is a nice crappy, but it's not a monster. I'll take them, I'll take 10 inch crappy all day long, but it's not a monster. 277. Bam. Knocked him out. Musical chairs again tonight. Who is this? Mark 91486. Got you down. All right. Now it's gonna get tougher. To knock him out, guys. It's gonna take something in the 80s, or it's gonna take 78 to 82. Hey, but a couple numbers, right? 11 to 10. 97's over. A lot of people. Behind, oh, there it is. All right, Mark. I don't know. Looks like you're the man. That was a fun one, wasn't it? Okay, he's. I don't know who that is. Just know his name is Mark. I don't think he's ever won before. All right. All right, guys, appreciate y'all guys. Hey, my sales has been up. I've been, I've been in the shop a lot. I almost sold out a hot perch. I got it made. It's on the cookie sheet here looking at me. Uh, Limeade color in the LC Shad. I got down to two or three bags. Bam, it's back to 25 bags. I think I made 25 bags uh, this week. Uh, so I've, I've had to be make like six colors. Killer. I'm low on killer. I know which ones I'm low on. My, my site will tell me, guys, how, exactly how many bags is left. I think killer's down to four or five. And dipstick's getting low. But when y'all buy some, it tells me over on the side of my site, it tells me exactly how many's left. And if you buy a color, it tells me how many's left in that color. 
when, when I'm when I'm stocking it. So that's how I keep up with it, and I make notes of that and try to keep up with it. But uh, sometimes y'all buy that color, <laughs> blue moon. I tell you that color. Some of y'all buying two, three, four, five bags at a time, and uh, I make I usually make twenty five bags at a time. That gives y'all an idea. And uh, when I make twenty five bags, that takes me quite a few hours. So half a day, I would say. Anyway, so. <laughs> Uh, sometimes they go pretty fast. So, but like I, I said this before, but I have colors sitting out there that I made the first round back in. I think we put the LC shad on in March or April last year. I still have some of the original stock and some of the colors. That's why I only make twenty five at a time. You just don't know. So now you used to make a bunch of stock and it just sits there. But and again, I mentioned this. I'm going to put a sale on the stingers, two inch stingers, come probably March. We will try to have these grubs on, like I said earlier, probably about the third week of February. Uh, we will try to have them on by then. My son's coming down next weekend. He's gonna take the they come back with him, each one of each color, so they can take pictures of them, get them on the site. I know the pictures don't do them justice, but there's only way we got to do it. And after we get that done, uh, I got four or five colors: the LC Shad, Shad, the Panther color I shared with you all the day, a couple of those new colors, Rocky, and I got a few more. I'm going to add to the LC Shad and probably do that sometime in March. And then that's when I'll put the cell on, on the stingers. We're going to get down to eight colors in those, guys. We're going to quit making dual colors in the stingers. And then you'll buy dual colors in, it's going to be the LC Shad. Why? The LC Shad right now is the bait. My site tells me this, too. The LC Shad is 60 to 65% of my sales. Bugs and crickets are next. And everything else is only like 4, 5, 6%. So we're going to put the time and effort in what's selling. I got to. I can't keep up all of them. And I, that was my plan you know, from the beginning. Whatever sells, whatever y'all want, that's, that's what sells. It's what you want. It's what I'm going to supply. I'm going to quit making stuff that I sell one bag a month. That makes sense to you. All right. Appreciate y'all guys. Thank you so much for your orders. Thank you for watching Fish Land Country and being part of, part of it. Uh, check out some of the big crap on Facebook has been put on this week. If you catch something big, put it on there. You got to go to to loads. You got to go to uh, groups. Go on there and click groups, and you can load. It, it's really messed up. I'm telling you, we fooled and fooled with it. My son tried to redo it. Uh, for some reason, that's the way that Facebook is set up. Cause it's a uh, page off of my wife's Facebook, and that's why. So uh, he said we might have come along down the road and it's completely start all over. I don't know. We'll see. He, ain't, he doesn't have time to fool with it right now. My wife doesn't. And I don't do that kind of thing. Hey, my job is to make baits and videos. <laughs> All the technical stuff is their job. Hey, guys, my name is Dennis Fish Lake Country. See you all next time.